Hey YouTube, it's Charisma. So I am going to wash my hair today and as you all know if you're following my starting over series, um, this is another addition in the series and um, so I'm going to wash my hair. I've already detangled it and what I did was, if you saw the previous videos, I had that like wash and go puff and it had gel in it and all that. All I did was go to the sink and let the water run through my hair and I was doing it in a downward motion all the way down to just kind of get all of the gel and whatever buildup was in there before I proceeded to detangle. And then after that I took Tresemme Naturals and I put it on there. I usually use that as a detangler sometimes and that was this one. And this is an old bottle too, so I'm running out of it. This is like when Tresemme Naturals was like the thing to be using. And I had stacked up on like two of them, stocked up rather. And um, yeah, so these are almost finished. And so I use them to detangle, which I really love them too. They're pretty, st they're still pretty good. So um, I put that in there, let it sit in my hair, and then I just went through the detangling process. And if you guys want to see that, I have videos on how to detangle hair just for first. You're going to have to scroll through a few videos, and it's up there. I've done more than one, so um, you know I think you will definitely find something out of those videos. So um, after I detangled, then I just braided my hair in sections, and I'll show you now. It's still wet, though like with the conditioner and um, I braided them all in sections leaving space between my scalp and the braid so that when I shampoo you see I have room to put my fingers in and you know get into that scalp with the pads of my fingers I never use my nails just the pads to get that shampoo in and so yeah these are the sections that my hair is in and I must say my hair I think already I already see a difference in two weeks since I cut my ends and I th then did the protective style like and the fact that I had my hair in that high puff I was spraying it and I had that in for like five days and I was just spraying with water every single day and I think my hair really really liked that so I'm happy to be back on this journey where I'm moisturizing and doing protective styles and doing the things that my hair loves I can get back on track with my hair length goals so right now what I'm going to do is shampoo I'm gonna and what I also did was I got some new problem new products not all new that I haven't tried before but like brand new bottles if I was running out Aubrey is one of my staples so I had this already but I bought some more I'm gonna do a whole video with some of the stuff I got and where I got it from and let you know if you're interested in getting some of these products too I try to stick with natural organic products if they're not organic the ingredients need to be natural and things that I can read without too many chemicals sometimes you know you may have one or two all the way at the bottom you know I'm not really fanatical about all of that so um, I'm going to be using the GPB um, line by Aubrey and this is the shampoo and conditioner and most likely I'm going to with the conditioner add some of my oils in there that I think that my hair could benefit from and I'll do a separate video on that but I just wanted to share that with you and let you see um, how I'm preparing my hair before I wash it. I will be washing it in braids and the reason why is to um, minimize tangling and whatever you can also wash them in sections where you put the clips and hold it I've done that method before but I just felt like doing this switch back and forth you know do something different you don't want to do the same thing over and over again and as well as using products I'm rotating through the products like I have been using Shea Moisture for a while and I'm still using it but I'm just trying to switch it up with some of the other products and the lines that are in my stash just trying to keep it fresh since I'm starting over and everything else. So guys, follow me follow me along on the journey and let me know if you guys are actually starting over or making new commitments to your hair goals and things like that. Leave them in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. And um, I'm not sure if I'm going to add on to this video or just see you in the next video. So either way, thank you guys for watching. Okay, bye.